Okay. So I've been thinking about agile development in healthcare, and I actually wrote a piece for John Lynn's EMR and HIPAA blog on this. And there's a critical component to agile development that's missing from this meaningful use cycle that we are all following right now in the healthcare IT industry, and that is the feedback loop. So right now we're continuing to build software to future specifications, and we've built this foundational stage one, you know, deployment of EMR, stage two is starting to add the interoperability and some of the clinical data um, codification constraints and specifications, and, and we continue to build on these without actually assessing whether what we have built is effective and is it serving the purpose and are we actually deriving meaningful use from the implementation of these technologies and is this functionality something that is useful? Are we helping patients? Are we hurting patients? Are our physicians able to continue to use their technology? And then more importantly, how is this technology changing the industry? Are we creating new bad behaviors as a result of implementing this type of technology? Um, I don't think that the continuous movement forward without taking the opportunity to address the feedback that has been pretty consistently coming in from all of the healthcare provider organizations uh, is, is prudent. And I don't understand what's the hurry. Like what, why are we in such a rush to accomplish this mass transformation of an industry that is likely to eradicate small independent practitioners who may not have the opportunity to afford these types of advances without joining a large healthcare conglomerate, uh, which then feeds this new, um, you know, iron triangle, if you will. Uh, I, I'm not, I, I don't know what the hurry is. I really don't understand. And I would love for someone to be able to explain it to me in terms that are not political, right? I understand that we have an administration to appease. I understand that we need to ensure that we continue progress forward while um, our administration is in office. Uh, perhaps that's the that's the, the kicker is that we want to make sure that there's continued forward motion so that a tipping point is reached um, after which it would be next to, you know, next to impossible to remove the mandates that have been put in place. But from what I understand, for providers on the EP side, there's already um, there are already new acts in Congress that are potentially looking at eradicating a lot of the meaningful use requirements for EPs and uh, providing them with very specific guidelines for payment structures and how their networks are to be contracted that would effectively eliminate the need for and new implementations for EPs. Um, perhaps that's a misunderstanding on my part. Again, I haven't I haven't researched that piece. But uh, circling back to agile development, why are we not taking the opportunity to incorporate the feedback loop? Why are we not evaluating the software's functionality, efficacy in a clinical setting, and efficacy towards patient engagement? Why are we not taking the opportunity to find out how we're doing? In an industry that's so customer satisfaction driven, why are we not identifying whether our customers are satisfied? Just thoughts. Have a good day.